Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, The Death of Dick Long. No idea. It's a dark comedy, um, so uh, hopefully it's funny. And evidently Dick Long dies in this. And his buddy Earl doesn't want anybody to know, but it's a small town in Alabama and people are bound to find out. That's all I know. That's all IMDb says. But something about it has drawn me towards it. I can't remember if I read something, um, but... I don't know much more about it except it's an hour and 40 minutes long and IMDb currently has it rated at 6.2. So not great, but it seems like a movie not everybody's going to get. Um, and I might be one of those people, who knows, but here's what I'll do. I'll get into it a little bit, find out really what it's about so you have a better idea because that synopsis doesn't help us at all, and then ultimately tell you what I think and see if it's worth watching. So, what do you say? Alright, stick around. I'll be back. Hey everybody, we want to do a quick check-in here. We're watching The Death of Dick Long. We're at the 50 minute, 20 second mark. Um, elaborate a little bit more on the plot. It starts out with these three guys, Earl, Zeke, and Dick. Um, friends, band, they're, they're like a garage band, you know, just playing at least at their house. And they decide to have a little bit more fun, start drinking, you know, smoking a little bit. And then they go off into a barn, um, and you don't know what happens. Uh, the next scene is them taking him to the ER where he dies in the death of Dick Long and they take off and they leave him there. So the whole mystery is what really happened to Dick while they were hanging out. Um, we don't know that, but we know that he dies and that's in the title and it's not a, a spoiler alert. Um, but now they, you know, the people are trying, the cops are involved now trying to figure out what happened to him and Earl and Zeke are the two that were with him and you know they're trying to you know hide everything of course because they don't want to be held responsible for whatever happened again we have no idea what has happened but that's really the plot of the movie now these two guys are running around trying to um to uh, you know stay inconspicuous if you will um and so they're they're they're, <laughs> they're not very well thought out plans on what they're doing they're just um, right off the, the, you know, the, right off the cuff, coming up with responses. So you can see they're they're trying to do like a web of lies, and it's just mounting into a big pile of you know what, um, you know. Again, not thought out or planned or anything like that. Um, so it's it's really a comedy of errors in a sense, but it's not it's not laugh out loud funny. Um, you know, it's supposed to be a dark comedy. Nothing that I laughed at yet. It's kind of dry drawn out and a little bit boring at this point for me um so you know i got the point now let's let's move it forward a little bit more let's i know i want to find out what happened um but and what's gonna happen but it's not entertaining at this point earl has a uh no zeke has a wife and a kid and that's the house that they're at and um earl just has a friend that lives by nearby that's it they're the characters we have two cops Two female cops. One's uh, 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 more of a veteran than the the other one, a little bit younger. Is excited to be on the case, um, the younger one, and uh, they're trying to solve it. That's it. That's really that's that's all that's going on. Anyway, you have a better idea of what the plot is, um, and there's not a lot of laughs so far. So I'll get back into it. Um, see if it it peaks up a little bit here, um, but so far no good. All right, stick around. I'll be back. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of The Death of Dick Long, and uh, I'll do my best not to spoil anything for you, I'm usually pretty good at that, but let me warn you, if you're going to decide to watch this movie, do not research it at all. Um, don't look at anything, don't, anything like that, just, if you're interested in watching it, go watch it, um, and uh, see what you think. I, th I, I want you to experience what I experience. I mean, you know, dark comedies, they usually... They take a, um, I don't know, uh, some kind of bad thing and try and make it funny. Usually, like, something like death or murder or something like that. And you make it a little bit funny, I think, is what they try and do. Well, now, this had no, I had no laughs until the end, until really the credits hit. And I just realized what you just witnessed. That's really, I mean, there's no laugh out loud moments. There's no giggly moments. There's nothing like that. The tone of this movie is like a serious... 
you know, not a whodunit, but like a murder movie. Murder thriller, in a sense. I wouldn't say thriller. It's not under your seat, but, you know, um, you know, um, investigation murder kind of movie. It's really laid out that way and when you watch it. But the circumstances that are the background in this story are like, what? <laughs> and the way that they play it off, at the end, you laugh. Because it's like they, uh, again, they took this, this whole genre of movie and, and did it perfectly. And one thing I did like, there's a couple of other movie references in here. Um, so I was like, oh, that's cool. But they, they took it and then they, they subtly laid in the whole circumstance of what had happened here. I know it's hard. It's really hard for me to talk about it without spoiling any piece of it. So, I don't know. If you're a dark comedy fan, check this out. I mean, I think this has captured the true methodology of a dark comedy, I think. I've always thought of them something different. I thought, you know, in dark comedies, again, something terrible happens and you laugh. And there's funny moments. There's no funny moments in this one. It takes itself extremely seriously throughout the entire movie. And then you just, you laugh at the end. Honestly, that's it. I can't go any further. I apologize. Um, <clears throat> not a family-friendly movie by any stretch of the imagination. Um, and I, I can't say any more, honestly, because I think you need to observe this yourself. But, you know, it's ri it's risque. Don't, you know what I mean? Like, uh, this is not for, I don't know, not for the, I don't want to say weak at heart. There's no uh, imagery that ruins it. It's all mental. So, that's it. That's, I can't go any further. I apologize if... You know, check it out. I don't even know if I could recommend it to check it out. You know, and I like to always rank my movies on beers. I think you should drink a lot when you watch this movie. Um, and uh, that's it. That's all I got for you. It's a tough one. It is tough to, to talk about openly because I don't want to ruin it for you. But I don't even know if I want to recommend it for you. You know? I don't know. If you watch it, I'd love to hear your comments. Hopefully... Uh, I don't know. Hopefully I helped you out somehow. Um, I think it's really for the for the um, dark comedy enthusiasts is what this movie's for. That's it. That's all I got. Thanks for tuning in. Kimmel's Irish Pub.